Welcome to my talk. I'm Yi Zhang, the CTO and co-founder of Rulai. I'm also a professor in University of California, Santa Cruz. In this talk, I will introduce a method for developing virtual assistant, the SAFE method. When time to value and return on investments are important, a SAFE method will make your conversation AI projects safe and more successful. At the end of the talk, I will share with you a free COVID-19 HR virtual assistant built based on this method. We are providing it for free now for US companies. You can customize it and use it for your company. Now let's start with SAFE. When we look at virtual assistants for enterprise, we think they are enterprise digital AI workers. They have big potential. They can be deployed in different business units for different use cases. In sales and marketing, they can improve customer conversion rate, drive higher revenue and lower customer churn. They can help manage sales funnel, gather data, nurture leads, and provide personalized product services, personalized promotions, and personalized recommendations. In customer service, they can drive dramatic improvements in operational efficiency give better customer experience and reduce cost. They can help customer check order status, make changes to orders, support customer onboarding and troubleshooting, manage loyalty programs such as registration, award tracking. They can also be used to support employee, improve employee productivity, lower support cost, and improve employee experience. Virtual assistants in IT help desk can help manage incidents and troubleshooting. In HR, they can help recruiting, employee onboarding, or support your digital workspace. In order to understand how to build AI workers, let's first look at what makes a good employee. A good employee should be smart. Besides, the employee should utilize his or her smart list to take actions and get work done. Employees should also be a fast learner who can learn quickly and contribute to the company soon. We don't want to spend months or years to train a new employee. We also want the employee to be flexible. We think AI workers should also be smart and action-oriented. They should be able to learn, communicate, understand what's going on, and make good predictions and take actions in the work, workspace. They should be fast learner and be flexible. That's why we introduced the SAFE method for conversational AI projects. Based on the SAFE method, the project can systematically develop AI workers resemble the virtue of human workers, so that the worker will be smart, empower actions to get job done through automation. The AI workers should be a smart, faster learner and be flexible based on extensive technologies, which we will describe later. For a conversation AI project, if this goal is clear at the very beginning and the safe method is followed, the project is more likely to be successful and has very good return on investment in short term and long term. Next, I will talk about each of the four points one by one and provide some details about the safe method. First, smart. We believe smart virtual assistants needs advanced AI in order to make it smart. Why? Because we think the AI assistant must behave according to certain normal con convention of human interaction in order to make them understood and useful. So AI workers need to understand the meaning of the user. They need to understand the structure of the sentence, the subject matter, and the context. Based on the understanding, the virtual assistant need to generate a coherent, meaningful, consistent, and correct response to what a user asks. To achieve that, the virtual assistant need to have domain knowledge about a company. It also should have common sense world knowledge that's not said. Also, it should have discourse understanding. Besides, the virtual assistant need to decide when and how to take actions to automate the business process and to get things done. Of course, it should be interactive. Those are challenging things, 
that require advanced AI. So you may ask how to evaluate the intelligence, the smartness in virtual assistant. To help people to evaluate virtual assistant ability, AI ability, let me introduce the virtual assistant ability model. This model is very similar to autonomous driving cars five levels. Not surprising because autonomous driving car is a special virtual assistant. In level one, we have virtual assistants that provide help to human agents in contact center. It's called a human agent assist. In level two, we have partial automation. That means for tasks the virtual assistant is designed to handle, it can take control of those tasks if the conversation flows follow the design. But if, but if the conversation flow doesn't follow the design, human agents need to be responsive and ready, ready to take over. On level three, we have conditional automation. That means for tasks the virtual assistant is designed to handle, virtual assistant can fully take control without human agents. Human agents will handle other tasks such that the virtual assistant cannot are not trained or designed to handle. For example, those tasks that require human intervention or empathy. Level four is called fully automation in design domain, where virtual assistant operates independently most of the time and human agents are available to help, but can, for example, work for other business units. Level five is called human-like automa human automation. That means virtual assistant reaches human level intelligence. Let me briefly talk about technique breakthroughs needed to go to each level. When we do level one, we need simple technique like classification and answer retrieval. For level two, we need to be able to handle multi-round conversation and handle variation of natural language. That means because for the same meaning, there are different ways of, to say it. For example, I want to book a flight to LAS tomorrow. Or the user can say, I need to go to Las Vegas on April 29th. Please help me find a ticket. Child could understand and make up sentences that he or she had never seen heard before. And level two AI can do the same. Machine learning techniques for intent prediction and slot feeding enables us to build level two AI. Well, for level three, we also need to handle variation of conversation flows. Human conversation could flow in different ways. For most of the tasks the chatbot was designed, trained, or taught how to handle, it can handle the task if it can handle the variation of conversation flow. Techniques for handle things like mixed initiative, mixed tasks, context switching, and multiple intents are needed to build level three AI. Once we reach level three, the virtual assistant can handle the variation of human language and the variation of conversation flow. Then it can achieve conditional automation. For level four, the virtual assistant need to be able to handle unseen problems and tasks in design domain. That means the virtual assistant need to do have the ability to do multi-step mathematical and logical reasoning, do some planning for certain tasks. And the virtual system need to be able to learn domain-specific tasks with simple languages. And future virtual system will be able to take complete control of handling each individual customer's request for the company. The virtual assistants are outcome-driven and goal-oriented, they are easy to develop, solve long-tail problems themselves without training. That's level four. And then for level five, the virtual assistant should be human-like and can handle unseen problems and tasks in open domain. To do that, the virtual assistant need to now handle complex tasks, do some planning, answer basic how questions, process and comprehend abstract and complex information and acquire knowledge, behavior, skills, and preferences from complex instructions. The virtual assistant should have model of the external world and its all possible actions, try various alternatives, and choose the best action to take. 
and utilize its knowledge of the past and to deal with present and the future. It's human-like. So let's look at the bots deployed by now. Most of them are level one or level two bots. However, the state of art is level three. The best virtual assistants can handle tasks they are trained to handle. To give you a better idea about the difference between level two, that's where most of the bots are, and level three, that's where the state of art is. Let me show you two demos. In the first demo, we are going to show a level two virtual assistant in insurance domain. As you can see, it can predict user intent and perform slot filling to fill some forms for insurance tasks. As you can see, level two virtual assistants cannot handle if the conversation deviates from what's designed in this case. The next demo shows the level three virtual assistant. It can handle very dynamic conversation flow. It has no problem diverge from the original conversation. It can mix and finish multiple tasks simultaneously to solve a problem, and it can understand and handle multiple intents. Here, when the bot asks about how many miles, the user doesn't answer and asks for discounting instead. Level 3 virtual assistant is able to handle this situation and switch contacts to provide information about discount. Let's continue. In this turn, the user expressed two intents. The first is yes, in enrolling the auto payment offer. The second is please use my credit card on file. The virtual assistant is able to handle both. Here, as you can see, the virtual assistant also remember that its original goal is to do insurance code and goes back to continue that task. I hope that helps you understand the difference between level two and level three AI. If you analyze the typical contact center data, you will find that a good AI worker should have at least level three intelligence in order to achieve high automation. If you look at the histogram of handling time per interaction, it usually looks like this. There are some quick and simple interaction where level two and level one virtual assistant are likely to handle. However, a large volume of interaction takes time and many rounds of conversation. Level two virtual assistants are likely to fail here, while level three virtual assistants are more likely to handle those. The rest may need human agents. Thus, if you want to have high automation, virtual assistants do need to have smart level three AI. Next, let's talk about the second part of the safe method automation. A virtual assistant has two major contributions to a company. One, provide information to people. 
Second, take actions and get things done directly. By taking actions, virtual assistants can empower human-centered automation so that a company can use virtual assistants-based automation to serve customers and employees, but do it on their terms and using natural language. If you look at human worker, you can see the human worker has a smart brain besides he or she has a body to take actions and get things done. A digital worker should also have a virtual body to take actions so that it can automate tasks and business process. This can be achieved by combining conversational AI with robot process automation or API calls. With that, a virtual assistant can log in into any application, fill forms automatically, copy paste data, connect to system API, play video, open reply emails, read write databases, extract process documents, images, PDF, email, HTML, or make calculations. With that, the virtual assistant can reduce staff cost, reduce human error, and standardize business process. And you can use existing enterprise application without change in existing infrastructure. That's the second part, automation. Next, let's talk about the third part of SAFE. Virtual assistant should be a fast learner. A company doesn't want to train an employee for months or years before the employee can be productive. The same for virtual assistants. For deploying a virtual assistant, we also hope to do it quickly. On the other hand, when people think about a machine learning or deep learning based virtual assistant, they often think it requires a lot of efforts and training data. However, now virtual assistants can be deployed with less training data and time than ever before. There are two major reasons why we can build virtual assistants quickly. First, we have very powerful pre-trained language models based on large amount of human language, such as the internet and the books. The pre-trained deep learning language models have clear representation about the phrase. Besides, attention head in hidden layers of deep neural networks can capture linguistic information normally expressed independency path entry. Furthermore, evidence shows that the pre-trained language model has language composition ability, which corresponds to traditional syntactic analysis. As you can see, pre-trained language model are pretty powerful. Second, the virtual assistant can also tap into enterprise knowledge base for curated content. The company already have unstructured and semi-structured documents on the internet or intranet. The company has structured data and database. The company might have human-human conversation transcripts. Those can all be used by the virtual assistants to learn and start quickly. So in Rulai, we fully utilize these advantages to make virtual assistant fast learner. Consider a virtual assistant project one normally needs to identify use cases train model, gather knowledge, automate work process and design conversation, then learn and iterate. In Rulai, we have AI Discover Accelerator to analyze content center human-human conversation transcripts to automatically identify use cases, and then automatically identify conversation flow, and automatically identify user intents and training data for train the model. Also, we have AI Knowledge Accelerator to automatically read and understand the company's existing enterprise knowledge, such as the website of the company or PDF files. The virtual assistants can use those knowledge and are synchronized with external enterprise knowledge source. We also have AI Task Accelerator to automatically analyze company's website so that we can get company's business process and automatically generate a multi-round conversation task flow. Our virtual assistant also starts with pre-trained models and pre-trained intents. Besides, we have no code design studio to facilitate further customization of the virtual assistant 
at the design stage. And while we are learning and iterate, we also use AI-based recommendation engine to help the virtual assistant quickly learn and iterate while interacting with the user. With all those techniques, we can build AI virtual assistant as fast learner. And this is a drag and drop local design studio for human to provide additional information about the business process and rules to the virtual assistant and it's very easy to use. Of course, building a successful virtual system involved much more than simply building the rules. It must be combined with other learning abilities, such as level three AI intelligence to handle the variation of natural language and the variation of conversation flow. Because we cannot enumerate all those variations using rules, this means a chatbot designer will design the workflow instead of conversation flow. The AI will automatically generate a conversation based on the context and its knowledge about the workflow. And designer doesn't need to worry about machine learning, model training, deploying, version control, or other engineering work. Besides, as we mentioned before, we can also use task accelerator to automatically generate the workflow based on existing enterprise knowledge or by observing human workers' activity that will greatly speed up the learning of the virtual assistant. Here is an example that shows a fast learner can be quickly improved over time. This is an e-commerce board we built. It helps customers find tires, answer pre-sale questions, such as inquiries related to promotion, warranty, and products. After we launched the chatbot, we quickly iterate and release 72 new versions in 12 weeks. The virtual assistant is able to learn quickly. As a result, the customer satisfaction score improved from 53% to 80%, similar to human agents' performance. Next, let's talk about the fourth item of SAFE, where we think virtual assistants should be flexible and extensible. You know, no solution or software match the organization's specification exactly. The same for virtual assistants. You should expect a reasonable out-of-box conversational virtual assistant or solution will only have 70% of the features and functions match your company's need. If you want to get the full potential of the virtual assistant, you need an extensible solution so that you can develop customized virtual assistants to fill the 30% gap. And that's why the virtual assistant needs to be extensible. Let me use RULI conversational solution reference architecture to illustrate what we mean about extensible. This is our architecture. In the middle, we have conversation AI engine and AI knowledge engine and AI analytics engine. Here, we have something we call omni-channel engagement center. With it, the virtual assistant can support omni-channel. It integrates seamlessly with voice and text-based customer touch points. The virtual assistants can maintain state or course customer journey as the customer switches between channels. And on this side, the virtual assistant extend to external systems. It can extend to enterprise existing knowledge base. It can extend to contact center. It can also extend to talk with other bots. And it can also extend to other enterprise systems. When we talk about integration, we mean integration in four aspects. That is why we have data adapter to extend virtual assistant's knowledge to external enterprise knowledge. That's why we have agent adapter to extend virtual assistants with human agents. And that's why we have bot adapters to extend one bot with other bots. That's why we have action adapters to extend the virtual assistants to other enterprise systems. So to summarize, we recommend a safe method for developing AI workers. 
Your virtual assistant should be smart, at least level three AI ability to handle variations of natural language and the variations of conversation flow. To do that, you need to be able to handle multiple intents, mix initiative, do context switching, and have customer dedicated AI models. It should be able to automate workflows with building RPA engine or API integration. And it should be able to automatically identify use cases, generate training data automatically, acquire knowledge automatically, aut automate business process workflow, and identify gaps and issues with AI technologies. It should also be able to support omni-channel, integrate seamlessly with voice and text-based customer touch points, maintain state across customer journey, and it should extend to support four kinds of integration using adapters. So what a safe method can give us? We have built virtual assistants for sales and marketing, HR, customer service, and more. Our experience shows that safe method-based projects are more likely to be successful. Safe method-based virtual assistant can get a 70% automated bot resolution rate or higher. And we can achieve 80% customer satisfaction with safe-based virtual assistant. And the virtual assistant can be deployed in weeks instead of months. Before I finish, let me share an example and a free bot for you to play with. In our current pandemic situation, both employees and companies are struggling to stay up to date with what's happening. And the internal HR service desk are not equipped to handle the employee questions. In order to help, we build a COVID-19 virtual assistant to share with you. The HR bot that can have four functions. First, we have the bot to handle the most common questions about the virus and do some diagnosis. It has knowledge synchronized with trusted sources like CDC and WHO using AI knowledge accelerator. And second, it can also effectively communicate a company's policy give employees an automatic channel to notify the company about any health changes, as well as provide escalation paths to human agents. When, with the engagement center, the board can communicate with employee in various channels. This company specific bot will use adapters to access the first general bot. So we actually have two bots. This general bot will handle things the company specific bot cannot handle. While, while user is talking with company specific bot. An intent library for common company specific questions are provided so that a company can just fill the answers to those common questions in the design studio. Of course, you can also add more questions and the business process easily. We have decided to grant free access to our platform and the COVID-19 HR bot any enterprise in the U.S. can customize and use this bot immediately to offload their service desks and keep employees informed about what's happening. So if you are interested to get a free COVID-19 virtual assistant and customize it yourself, you can visit this website, go.ruel.ai slash corona. You know, the pandemic is causing significant business challenges for the customer and employee. While the contact center and help desk are being overloaded with questions and requests, we are here to help to accelerate self-service automation. If you need any help, please feel free to talk with Rulai Landing Page Board by visiting our website. You can schedule appointments with us, or you can contact me directly at yiz at Rulai. Thank you for your time.